In the whole of the universe, the only planet known to have an atmosphere containing free oxygen, oceans of water on its surface, and life, is Earth, our home. About 85% of Earth's ice-free lands are enveloped by vegetation with tropical rainforests around the equator in South America, Africa and Southeast Asia. The tropical evergreen forest in the Deccan Plateau of the Indian Peninsula has flourished along the Western Ghat mountain ranges. The Western Ghats is home to the best exotic rich famous hill stations like Uti, Kuno, Wayanad, Kug, Kudrimuk and Chikmagalur. ಹಶ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಊಟ ಮುಗಿಸಣ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಚೆಕ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಆಯ್ತು ಸರ್ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ನೀನು ಊಟ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಬಿಡಪ್ಪ ನನಗೊಪ್ಪ ತುಂಬಾ ಶುಭ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಊಟ ಮಾಡಿ ಹುಡುಗ್ಬೇಕು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬನ್ನಿ ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಚಿಕನ್ ಫ್ರೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೊಸರನ್ನ ಏನಿದು ಚಿಕನ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಇದೇನಿದು ಸಿಗರೆಟ್ ಬೇಕು ಇದೇನಿದು ಬಿಯರ್ ಟಿನ್ನು ಸರ್ ಏನೋ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಊಟದ ಡಬ್ಬದಲ್ಲಿ ಊಟದ ಬದಲು ಸಿಗರೆಟ್ ಬೇಕು ಸೂಪರ್ ಹಿಟ್ಟಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ ಏಯ್ ಆ ಓನರ್ ಕರಿಯ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಟು ನೇಚರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ plastic littering is of global concern now in the 21st century. John Wesley Hyatt has discovered the first synthetic polymer. The development of plastic materials passed through various historical phases becoming today the most widely used material globally. Global plastics production ramped up from 1.5 million tons in 1950 to 335 million tons in 2016. plastic has become a part of our daily life the first and foremost point is how this plastics will have an impact on the environment uh, recently there are several satellite images from the nasa uh, european satellites have discovered kilometers of kilometers of 
plastics in ocean bottoms. So they were saying about by 2050, a lot of plastics uh, will be there in the ocean than the fishes. Dr. Nagraj is working on the conservation of Shola forests and is concerned about the plastic littering in the forest areas. Microplastic could impact the soil by affecting the soil engineers, namely earthworms, soil bacteria, and damage the water and food conducting tissues of the plants. Deaths have been recorded in the wild and domestic animals due to consumption of plastics. Two novel doctors, Dr. Shuba Vijay and Dr. Geetha Vankatesh, initiated and developed Swatcha Charitable Trust to manage the garbage and keep the Chikmagalore city clean. They have been working since 2002, along with the support of local government authority. Youth organisation team Kathavia has initiated clean-up drives to keep the highway clean. The team intends to create social awareness and is working on proper disposal of the waste. India, under Swatch Bharat mission, has Plastic Waste Management Rules 2018 in place to manage the plastic waste. United Nations Development Programme, UNDP India, is building on existing systems to reduce the impact of plastic waste on the environment in India. When it comes to punishment for littering, there is no strong legislative rule in India for littering. The only possible punishment and fine is under the Indian Penal Code Section 278 with a fine of up to 500 rupees. The problems associated with littering and the behaviour associated with littering is huge. It has a huge impact on us today as we are growing in this huge environmental crisis and it becomes important to understand various aspects of the behaviour associated with littering. Dr Shiv Dev explains that if the place is clean and if there are bins available, any of us going into this environment are involuntarily motivated to dispose the litter in a proper manner. The other way around, if it's an untidy place, litter will attract more litter. How do we bring about a change? So there are a lot of reasons and a lot of ways that we can bring about a change. All of us need to get involved in this. Installing creative billboards, educative billboards, videos and making proud statements about the place itself can encourage people to bring the change in their behaviour. I want to highlight here that our university, our department, has recently launched a new program which is called as Wildlife Naturalist. Wildlife Naturalist course is something like we are going to train the postgraduate student here. The once they get the diploma and certificate course, they will be appointed in some ecotourism areas where they will be involved in guiding the local people, creating awareness to the local people not to litter the forest and wildlife. In spite of all the efforts from the government and local organisations, trash is still seen around us. When Earth was formed, approximately 4.5 billion years ago, the young Earth was a hostile place to live, with temperatures over 100 degrees Celsius. There were extensive volcanic eruptions, releasing huge amounts of volcanic ash, water vapour, carbon dioxide, sulphur dioxide and hydrogen sulphide resulting in volcanic lightning. As the earth cooled down over a hundred million years, the condensing water vapour poured down in the form of heavy rain over millions of years forming great oceans. Approximately 3.7 to 3.8 billion years ago evolved the first organisms in the oceans that were able to harness the energy of the sun in order to prepare their food as they were able to perform photosynthesis, cyanobacteria. These organisms broke down water molecules, resulting in the release of oxygen molecules into the atmosphere for the first time on Earth. Within a period of a few hundred million years, these organisms totally transformed the composition of the atmosphere 
changing it from a reducing atmosphere to an oxidizing atmosphere, which is referred to as the Great Oxidation Event. As oxygen started to build up in the atmosphere about 600 million years ago, the ozone layer was formed. Once the ozone layer was formed, there was a Cambrian explosion of life on Earth. The Earth was able to sustain complex multicellular life in the oceans and on the land. Every small contribution of each cyanobacteria back then, billions of years ago, made this life possible on the Earth we live today. Now imagine, you are one of these little organisms in the 21st century contributing to nature by not littering. You may feel that you are not bringing in any change around you, but it's worth thinking that maybe the meaning of your thought and efforts are actually not even within the scope of your understanding. Because if it's true for every one of those cyanobacteria, releasing oxygen over a period of billions of years and responsible for life on Earth, it may also be true for you in transforming our Earth into a plastic-free planet and a quantum leap in gifting a beautiful home, our Earth, for the coming generations, if not in a hundred years, for sure in the next 1,000 years. One small commitment and effort by each and every one of us can ignite a great human event.